What's up everybody, Rob Outcast once again for the SP Entertainment video channel in another non-DJ related unboxing video. We are doing, boom, this guy right here. The Genesis bootleg system. <laughs> I'll call it bootleg system because it's not, I don't think this original Genesis. Because uh, they got the Sega Genesis logo on it, but uh, it's cross marked as at games. Boom, that's their logo right there. So, this bad boy right here is... Um, Another retro system. I can't get my hands on the freaking Super Nintendo system and the NES system, but this was available for a good price. It's from Dollar General for 40 bucks, but uh, they had a sale that um, you get this for 30 free shipping, no tax. So I went with it. Why not? So what uh, got me to pay attention on this? Well, first of all, it has an actual slot. So if you have other your existing Sega Genesis cartridges you can plug into this bad boy and play it. it comes with two controllers it's in stock unlike the Super Nintendo one and the Nintendo one and this also comes preloaded with 81 built-in games so um just to go through some of the games that they have here Alex the Kid never heard of it Alien Storm never heard of it Altered Beast yes I've heard of it uh I'm gonna skip the ones that I've never heard of uh because you know um let's see oh look mortal kombat one two three it comes with mortal kombat one two three it comes with the uh the sonic series sonic pinball sonic and knuckles sonic uh blah 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 so like i said mortal kombat one two and three um i didn't have a genesis growing up so uh this is the first time i'm actually uh, gonna be playing on this. Uh, what is this? They got Virtual Fighter 2. Look at that. I remember that. Uh, what else do they have here? Uh, Golden Axe. Uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. You know, I'm not gonna bore you with it, but uh, check it out online. Um, so it comes with a wired controller, stereo sound, and the cartridge slot. And um, what they're promoting here, let me read off for you. Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, Golden Axe, uh, the, the, the Shinobi, yep, uh, Fantasy Star, and uh, I don't know what that other thing is. So, let's go unbox it. It's just, and many more. So, obviously, I won't find out until I crack it open. Let me show you the box first, so that's what it looks like. All right, uh, trying to get rid of that glare. All right, side goes over here. All right, and I showed you that at games uh, logo. All right, so let's unbock this bad boy. Let's see what's inside. Cause I'm curious myself. No frills, plainly simple. As soon as you open it, boom. Not even wrapped in plastic, but who cares? If it works, it works, right? So here's the instruction manual. I guess it's gonna break down. Uh, uh, yeah, it gives you the list of all the games that's in there. Oh, zoom in, buddy. Uh, there you go. All right, so they'll give you a, a list of uh, uh, games that's preloaded in there. Gives you a quick synopsis on what the, that game's about. Um, instructions on how to control the um, character in the game. And, uh, all right. So, actually, so I got the manual. This guy right here is, uh, comes with yellow, red, and white. So, basic RCA cables for, um, you know, video and the audio signals, power supply, comes with the corded controller, non-USB, and obviously non-HDMI, corded controller number two. This actually seems smaller than the real Sega Genesis controllers. It just seems like it to me. I don't know. Obviously, this is smaller than the Sega Genesis. Um, but here's the device right here. Now, for comparison, just so that you know, this is the Galaxy S7 Edge. Ooh. 
So the S7 Edge is uh, slightly longer and slightly shorter than the device. This thing is super light, like it's empty. It's probably just an SD card in this bad boy holding all those games. So let's do a 360. Boom. Power supply right here. Video. Left and right for the audio. Nothing here. Front part is where you plug in the controllers. Like I said, it's not USB, so whatever. Uh, like that. Uh, Genesis, Sega Genesis logo there. Co-branded. Licensed. I don't know. I really don't care. Uh, as long as it works. So, on off switch here. What was the other one? Menu. So, um, pretty basic. And then you have the slot right there for your actual Genesis cartridges. So, if you still have them laying around, you can still reuse this. Not bad for the price. Um, got some uh, info here that you probably won't even read. But, in a nutshell, this bad boy right here. Plain and simply, it was in stock, okay? So for retro gaming, you know, Atari, eh, not really for me. This one, the fact that it came with Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3 and Sonic the Hedgehog series, of course I rock with it, you know. Uh, something I grew up with, so I could rock. Um, this right here, I'll plug it in. Boom. Plain and simple. No frills system. And, um, you know, like I said, no HDMI, so just be aware of that. Don't be expecting, like, uh, some kind of fancy-schmancy uh, thing about it. It's in stock, folks. I don't know. I just like the fact that it was in stock. Um, so, like I said, got it for 30 bucks uh, with a promo uh, for around um, Black Friday-ish. I don't know if I bought a Black Friday, prior to Black Friday, something like that, at Dollar General. So, um... This bad boy is preloaded with 81 games, all right? So even if you can't find any of the cartridges here, the fact that you got Mortal Kombat in here, the, the Genesis version, I think the Sega Genesis version is the bloody version. That's the one with all the bloody chunks flying out to your screen. The Super Nintendo one, not so much. I think, I, I had the Super Nintendo one, and I don't think that it's as bloody as this one, unless you uh, had like the Game Genie or something like that. You could turn on some kind of wacky feature and you know red chunks start flying up i don't know it's not a big deal but i think um you know that's actually what started the, these what are they called esrb ratings for video games because of mortal kombat freaking you know the fatalities and all the gory stuff that was happening with the video games and probably shocked like a whole bunch of you know concerned parents and said no you can't have that dish so yeah so this has it the mortal kombat series is in this bad boy right here so that's actually the main reason I bought it. Two controllers. So you can whip each other's ass. You and your best bud. Classic RCA connection. I mean, it's 16-bit, I think. Yeah, so it's 16-bit. I mean, do you really need HDMI for that? Seriously. Got the power adapter. Looks pretty generic enough. So if you lose it, you bang it up. You can just buy another one. I almost said that Radio Shack, but I realized Radio Shack filed bankruptcy with... Uh, a while ago so I don't know go to Amazon if you ever need another one um, here's the manual not like you're gonna read it if you're like me you're gonna look at it I read it done not even gonna bother so 30 bucks retro system Sega Genesis classic game console and bro it's in stock I'm sick and tired of going to all these uh, sites looking for Super Nintendo when all this other retro system that they never have in stock or if they do have it in stock it's like 200 bucks are you kidding me get out of here all right so sega genesis that's the unboxing for review okay i'll do a review on it so stay tuned for part two of this video thanks again for watching the sp entertainment video channel i'm rob outcast your resident dj slash cyber shopper Checking out the Sega Genesis at Games Retro Game System. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I uh, hope you're enjoying this, that you will subscribe and uh, feel free to share this video. Thank you again for the support. Spread the love. Peace.